When Avi River Prison Gates opened on the 23rd of May, 75-year-old Philip Soy walked out a free man. With only 50 shillings given to him for bus fare by the prison authorities, his priority then was to look for his family that he had not seen for over 30 years. Few weeks later, we caught up with Soy at his new home in Joro, Nakuru County, and he narrates to us how he's coping with life as a free man. My during his 30 years in jail, none of his family members ever went to visit him and he only heard from a friend that his mother and brother had died and his remaining siblings had sold off all the land and moved away, an issue that is still paining him. Till now, he still does not know where his brothers are. None of them has ever come to welcome him back, and he says he longs to see them, even though there is no property. They say old habits die hard. After 32 years in jail, those living with him tell us that the prison discipline is still deeply instilled in him. While in prison, Soi was the head of the leather and tannery section and was in charge of about 20 fellow inmates. But here, he does not work much and his health has since started deteriorating even as age catches up with him. Finally, as we leave, we see a man who has seen it all, but still he has hope that one day he will be able to meet his wife and child and hopefully reunite with the rest of his family. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.